Good morning, YouTubers, and welcome to the Texas Vlog. I uh, just going through all your emails from yesterday uh, for the. Uh, um, I hate when I say um, but we'll continue. So I went through all your emails, and I think I responded to everybody for the vlog yesterday's vlog. And uh, last night I watched Oblivion, that Tom Cruise movie, where the end of the world thing. So watched that last night, went to bed, I think it was around 12, woke up at 7.30 today. Uh, nothing on the books as of yet. Carl went for breakfast. When he comes back, I'm gonna steal the car, uh, go do Whataburger Bob sandwich, which is breakfast on a bun, and I'll do bacon over, um, actually, I think, I think I'll buy both, the bacon and the sausage, and then I'll do like a comparison which one I think is better. Because uh, sometimes the, some of these places do good sausage and some of them don't do as good a sausage as the bacon. So I'm going to do like a review possibly of both. I'm going to be then possibly trying to find this Bluebell ice cream and do a review of that. And then at lunchtime, I have to do the Whataburger finally, double burger, cheeseburger. And somebody said I have to grilled jalapenos on that so I'll do that as well uh, I'll take you along with me uh, it's overcast again I wish I had got out I wish my GoPro had worked the other day because now it's like all overcast it shouldn't affect the quality of the video I've got my lights nowadays so uh, yeah well uh, I was also thinking if I have time to do just like a little not documentary, but just like, yeah, I guess documentary style, shoot the town, show you what uh, gun barrel looks like and some of the sights. Obviously you've seen a few things. Looks like your typical American town, small town. And, uh, but I'll show you around, show you some of the cool sights. Uh, of course, all their restaurants and everything are just over that way. And I think that is east, yes, because that was where the sun set last night. Can't see where the sun is right now. But uh, the main strip is this one road, I can't remember what it's called, and all the whole, uh, restaurants are on that. Um, they even have a Sonic here, and I'm doing a, public, a shout out, hopefully a shout out video. I'm gonna have to do some major walking today, let me tell you. Uh, and then we have uh, interviews with the town people. The town people! Uh, look at the white balance on that one. Uh, I should stop moving from daylight to tungsten, and then back to daylight again. See, it's starting to figure itself out now. That's better. And I'll go back in there, I'll go all yellow. Oh, Carl's here, good. So, I'll show you around the town. Uh, like I said, I have an interview uh, thing with Carl for two o'clock, so, and I'm gonna have to do some major walking around. They do have like a, a gym downstairs, but I, I think I prefer to walk and videotape stuff for you guys, as opposed to standing in a gym and doing nothing except working out, but I'm going to have to definitely work out. I have to do all these reviews as much as I can today and tomorrow. Anyway, talk to you soon. I'm just cruising around town. I just finished the uh, Whataburger breakfast sandwiches uh, and now I'm at Walmart looking for that uh, ice cream that you guys want me to do. So just like our Walmarts, they have the, the market and we are going to find the ice cream. Look at all those. Yummy cookies. Oh boy. Which one to choose? Hope that smaller size is I'm screwed. Oh boy. I don't think they have any smaller sizes than that. I'm not sure how many calories that is. I think I'm, I should just do just the regular homemade vanilla. Hmm. Only 160 per serving. Oh boy. Well, I got your Blue Bell ice cream. I just did the vanilla, as you can see, when I bought it. Now I just had to find a spoon. Do the review. 
I don't think any of the restaurants I've... So I think I got... No, I didn't even get a fork. Hmm. The search continues. Just out shooting B-roll. Just went over there and shot the Legion. And now I'm over here at... Hooten Holler. I think he locked it, I bet. Yep. Alright, let's go inside, check out Hooten Holler Liquor Store. All right, so we're here in the liquor store and Marsha decided to tell us about this product. What, tell us Marsha, what is the book? What's weird about this product here? Well, one, it's made by the Big Cock Ranch um, in Austin, Texas. Um, they're all great products, but we have chicken shit and we have special shit <laughs> and you have all shit, bullshit, more special shit. And then you have their barbecue shit. You have their hot shit, which is hot sauce. I would imagine. Um, you can get a whole box of shit, which is four <laughs> of the seasonings together. And anytime you buy any of the products, you get a sack of shit for free. You get what sacks you of shit for free at this store. Yes. What's the store this? Hoot and Holler. Hoot and Holler. In Gun Barrel City. In Gun Barrel City. You get a sack of shit. Nice. And only, it's all only, really good shit. Only in Texas. Right? Oh. I don't think you could do that anywhere else in the world. Good shit, too. Can't That's, forget about that, the good well, shit. Well, you got to get the good shit. You have to have good shit. <laughs> well, but thank it, you very much for explaining all that to me. Oh, you're very welcome. All right, guys. I am back at Whataburger, finally, to do the double, excuse me, cheeseburger with jalapenos. And um, I'm just going to do, like, a, a pop. I can't do any more food. I'm, like, done. So, uh... I, I did the, the first one this morning and then I did the ice cream. I actually did eat the whole thing of ice cream. I'm bad. Uh, anyway, so I said to set up my cameras and then we're good to go. And I'll do a little report after, but I can't tell you what I rate it. Just finished my Whataburger review and I did the uh, double cheeseburger, grilled jalapenos, grilled onions, and uh, I just realized near the end that this light died on me, which is fine. That's not like it's gonna ruin the, I've got an itchy head right here. Just, just itchy, just itch it. Uh, so I have this set up still, this set up, this is still on, and I'm gonna go over to Sonic and do a shout out video for my daughter. Uh, she wanted me to try the strawberry shortcake milkshake, so I'm gonna try that. I'll try and do a small, because all this food is ridiculous. I gotta go for like a jog, just for a month. Just a month straight jog, and I'll be fine. So this is uh, Town Hall, or City Hall, I guess you can say, because it's not a town. And uh, so we're just about to do our interviews. But I thought I'd just take you through this. It's kind of nice. It's really neat being in Texas and seeing all the, especially their gun logo. It's just so, so awesome. Let's take you to the visitor center. It's time to go for a nice walk. <laughs> Try to lose some of that, those calories. Got my water, got my shoes on, my shorts on. And uh, I was trying to kill two birds with one stone and do another kind of impromptu food review for my daughter. And uh, Problem is, Carl's having a nap. He has the key, so I can't use the car. I also need to exercise, so I'm gonna walk, but it's 4.4 kilometers away, which is no big deal. Like, walking 4.4 kilometers, simple, but uh, I 
going to be back here showered and everything by 6 o'clock because then we're going over to um, Hector's again. So try something different. I think I'm going to try that shrimp kebab thing wrapped in bacon. Woo! All right, so there's the hotel. And we are looking at, to see how close we can get to Sonic before I have to turn around and come back. Just after four right now. Like my hat? Sweet! If you go on the uh, Gun Barrel City website and ask for a shirt, they'll sell you one and they send it to you. So a few people have asked about the shirt, the hat. So if you're interested in getting one, then you could support this support this town and uh, buy buy a cool t-shirt. It's just a really cool symbol, and uh, it's Texas, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I gotta walk, faster! Jack in the box, and then Bucky's car wash. There's a Chili's up ahead. And you probably can't see it yet, but there's, there's that's the Chicken Express that we had our chicken. And here's a Walmart on the left. So there's the chicken. <laughs> Dry mouth already. Chicken Express, and there's a Taco Casa. Carl ate there today for lunch, and he got like three different items, probably like a deal or something. I don't know. I didn't ask him. I just he just told me he got this, this, and this, and he said it was really good, and, and the price was amazing. So I didn't try it, so I couldn't tell you. But Carl loves Mexican food. It's his all-time favorite food. And when Carl says he'd go there again, then that's uh, at least a recommend. Possibly a go out and get it now. If you live in the area, you've been there, let me know in the comments below. I don't know if it's a big chain. It looks pretty uh, impressive. Nice looking store. They've got a Denny's. They've got a Bell's. I think Bell's is just clothing. I went there earlier today thinking I could get the ice cream from them. Thinking that they might actually have a produce kind of department or at least grocery store part of it but I don't think they do and there's Whataburger right up ahead and Dollar General I was trying to describe what Whataburger looks like I think it kind of just hit me now kind of looks like um, 50s 60s maybe 70s kind of uh, fast food restaurant that's just the kind of look, what's in the look at it, it just looks like a, an older restaurant, doesn't it? There's the jalapeno tree. It looks very cool. Nice colors, nice logo. I'd eat there. We got uh, KFC Taco Bell combo. Which are like in, in my town, so. Obviously it's nation and countrywide different countrywide north american wide as you can tell this town is very busy like cars that are trying to get out of these plazas and stuff they can't get out i'll see somebody sitting there and then they'll see me coming and that just so happens i have to cross at the same time they could have possibly made a break for it but uh it is crazy traffic they've got a pizza hut Burger King, Dairy Queen, McDonald's, Lowe's. This town has everything. And you know what? When we're at the uh, town office, here's a really good tidbit of information for you. No property taxes. Zero. Zilch. All the towns around them, property taxes. Where do people move? Right here. It's amazing. And I'm talking to the lady at the town office. I'm like, how do you do it? How can you run a town 
with no property taxes. She says, well, we have sales tax. I'm like, well, how much is your sales tax? I don't know. I think she said eight, seven or eight percent. That's like, oh my gosh. Canada sales tax, 13 percent. I think I pay around 2,000. I live out in the boonies. I pay around 2,000 a year in taxes, property taxes. So either my town's cleaning up or this town's hurting. I don't know. They manage. They, they do it. They got the people that move here. And uh, once they're here, they spend their money here. And the taxes from, I guess, what they buy and sell goes to the town. I guess it works. We have turned north. I don't even know what road this is, but I can't believe it. Just before I turned the camera on, there's no way you could have crossed. And all of a sudden, by the time the camera spooled up, I guess you could say, all the cars were gone. And so I crossed with ease. No casualties here. All right, they got it. La, la, la. All right, this is a Sonic. Some of you have never seen a Sonic before because you live in a different part of the world or a different part of the country. I know Sonic is in every isn't in every state. They have 25 different shakes. Well, as you can see, I made it safely back to the hotel. It's quarter to six. Just enough time to wash up, get on a fresh new pair of clothes, and then go to Hector's.